a Hickok 45 here with a beautiful gun and that's not a joke this time this is the Browning Special Sporting Clays Edition over and under what a gorgeous shotgun this is one I've had for 20 years and really uh, as I've said before I don't deserve to own it I don't shoot it enough <laughs> I think we shot some pumpkins with it one time rolling down the hill and I used to shoot a little bit of skeet and and some sporting clays uh, for a short period of time but it is just a gorgeous uh, shotgun that I have gotten out on occasion to maybe shoot a round or two of skeet with somebody or to trim trees with to tell you the truth if I needed to really reach out I've actually done that I know kind of an expensive tree trimmer huh uh, but man it's a it's a beauty uh, I had a uh, I think it's decelerator pad put on the back just get a little more extension and it, it fits me like a dream it's just a beautiful gun so we thought we'd do a close-up with it and take out some of these long-range targets that we uh, are always doing so man if uh, any gun deserved a close-up it's, it's this one so we're gonna give you a good look at it and give me a chance to shoot it a little bit here is that gorgeous or what Let's see if we can hit any of these targets. <laughs> Let's go ahead and start with a couple of soft drinks here. <laughs> that worked, didn't it? All right. Checks the shells, of course, unlike the cowboy shotguns. A couple more in there. We're shooting just number eight field loads here. Here's another soft drink. <laughs> Uh, yeah, not too easy to miss with this thing. This is, uh, it's backboard, it's ported, uh, got a nice rib there, and uh, just a beautiful gun. There's a flyer pot that needs shattering. I think it turned it to dust. Let's try the other one. <laughs> it did turn it to dust, literally. <laughs> there, there, there it goes blowing away. <laughs> I sent that flower pot to the neighbors. It, it'll be blowing by their front porch next. Okay, I don't think it'll uh, turn a can to dust. Wow. <laughs> Definitely moves it around though, doesn't it? Oh boy. Who else on the planet is shooting a, an over and under Browning Satori at uh, five yards? <laughs> on a video of all places. Oh man. Don't you love a shotgun of any kind? I just about did all my targets in. Oh, there's a paint can. <laughs> oh, man, that's just all a part of uh, having fun with guns, really. You know, I know uh, people hate, well, not people. There's always one or two people that, you shouldn't call that gun a toy. <gasps> you give people the wrong impression. Well, I know it's not a toy in that sense, but uh, they are for enjoyment. Why did I reload it? I'm out of ammo. Uh, it's just kind of a force of habit, or I'm out of targets. I don't see anything really left to... Uh-oh. Uh-oh, look at those trees. Those guys were not even uh, scared away by the shotgun blast. There's doves right in the... <laughs> can't believe it. Oops. I didn't... Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Let me reload it. thought I had my cowboy shotgun out. Man, this is great. All right, chance to do some bird hunting. I guess they're so accustomed to gunfire, it just doesn't uh, really affect them. Just like the deer and the antelope and the uh, possums around here. Ah, smart elk. Oh, I love it. What I do? Shoot low or something? That's too bad. I have to shoot more. We got some tough birds in Tennessee. There we go. <laughs> uh, wow. It doesn't happen very often. Most of the time, the birds will eventually, they'll just wander away, fly away. But uh, I guess those just, uh, just weren't afraid of, of us. But uh, they should be now. But this is a gorgeous gun. Uh, you know, actually, uh, you see in gun shops and gun shows now, over and unders uh, for self-defense. You know, short barrel, cut off by like 18 inches. 
and they really do point well. You look down that rib and, you know, uh, they just, uh, I don't know, something that's why they uh, are popular for hunters. It just seems to be easier to line up on the, on the target. And uh, they're just a, a blast to shoot. So that's a gorgeous Browning Satori, special sporting clays model. And uh, even at close range like that, it's a lot of fun. I didn't realize I was going to get to do some bird hunting with it today. So that was just an added bonus. And uh, we'll see if we can recover any meat from those uh, pigeons or doves, whatever they were, and go back and cook them up for lunch. So uh, life's pretty good.